Welcome to Tissibu. I'm going to give a very short brief of ISO 45001 2018 standard. It might take say, about five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is M.S. Ray. I manage an organization called Tissibu, which is an IRCA approved organization. Every standard has got a central theme. And let me take you through ISO 45001 2018 standard. The idea behind ISO 45001 standard is that the organization offers a safe and helpful place of work for its people, which causes least disruption by way of incident, accident, or ill health. That ensures profitability, that ensures legal compliance, and that demonstrate the duty of care the organization is expected to demonstrate towards its people. So it gives a lot of benefit. It ensures business continuity and improves the bottom line. That's the profitability of an organization. So that's a very important thing for any organization. So safety should be integrated as a part of the business process when an organization manages its business. It's an integral part of an organization's management system. The central theme of ISO 45001-2018 standard is determination of hazards, and then assess risk, and then determine and implement the controls. Now, once you have implemented all those controls, things are expected to go right, but things can go wrong as well. So you need to remain prepared for emergencies. And that is when emergency preparedness and response comes in. Now, based on the observation, based on your experience of the drill or test of the emergency situation that you do, you may find there are certain areas needs improvement or certain hazards where not identified or certain controls were not determined. Therefore, it might need to revisit the hazard identification, risk assessment, and control. And then you perform an internal audit. Once you perform an internal audit, you may find, again, conformity as well as non-conformity to management standard requirements. So in case of any non-conformity, you are required to implement corrective action. And once you have implemented corrective action and everything is verified for effective closeout, you are required to perform a review of the management system by the top management and that acts as a driver for improvement of occupational health and safety management system standard. So briefly, this is the central thing. Identify hazards, assess risk, determine controls, and of course, implement controls, emergency preparedness and response, perform internal audit, take corrective action, implement corrective action, perform management review, and then continual improvement. That's precisely the central theme of the standard. Now, I would like to show you the ISO 45001 standard at a glance. It starts with scope, normative reference. Normative reference is if there is any other standard becomes integral part of ISO 45001 standard. In fact, for ISO 45001, there is no normative reference, but for 10 element standard, which is called NXSL based standard structure, these are, this is a 10 element structure. So clause number two always stand for normative reference, regardless of normative references there or not, the space is reserved. And there is no normative reference for ISO 45001. The way for 9001, there is a normative reference, which is ISO 9000-2015. Next comes terms and definition. All specific terms and definitions concerning that particular standard is included here. For example, hazard, risk, acceptable risk, control, non-conformity, uh, corrective action, all these terms and definitions are included in clause number three. Then comes context. Context is basically 
the organization's ecosystem in which the organization really operates. Uh, it gives basically understanding the risks and opportunity that comes from outside the organization and within the organization. So in context is basically combination of external and internal issues, which can give risks and opportunities. And basically is an ecosystem in which an organization operates. Then comes leadership. Leadership is the element where the top management of an organization, how they run the organization and the requirements and expectations from the top management is included in clause number five, which is leadership. Then comes planning. In the planning stage, all requirements, how to manage and implement an occupational health and safety management system, uh, identification of hazard, determination of risk and determination of controls, all these are part of the planning process. And then we need support. Support is needed to produce or implement an operation. So all manpower, equipment, machinery, those enablers are part of support and then comes operation. In operation, we are implementing the occupational health and safety management system. And while activities are performed, this has to be performed in a safer way in accordance with the occupational health and safety management system. So operation is clause number eight. And then you look at performance evaluation. Performance evaluation is how the occupational health and safety management system is performing, whether the organization is achieving its occupational health and safety objectives, are the processes being performed safely, and organization is achieving its goal, and then comes improvement, how to improve the occupational health and safety management system even better. If you look at the whole structure, the requirements of the standard comes from clause number four, uh, which is context of the organization, five leadership, six planning, seven support, eight operation, nine performance evaluation, and 10 is improvement, which has got all these sub clauses, which you will know at the time we are uh, going for the foundation course or for the lead auditor program. That's it. So contact me, uh, send your name and email address. And if you have got any question, you can write to me and I'll be more than happy to be of any support to you. Occupational health and safety is a very interesting and important subject, and you deserve to be one of the best auditor. My job is to make it easy and interesting for you. Trust me, you deserve to be one of the best. Join our course for a spectacular experience of learning with fun. Thank you so much and see you there.